Today we're going to paint a lipless crankbait from Sugar Tit Custom Lures. I really like the design of this lure as normally lipless cranks are more of a football shape but this one has kind of a swoosh design and it has a lot of real estate to add some cool cool designs to it. So I look forward to painting it. First I'm going to add some opaque white as a base. I spray the turquoise across the back on both sides. Next I'm going to use this cellular stencil to blend the turquoise down into the white. My goal is to leave a little bit of white between the turquoise here and the color I use on the bottom. I'm first going to put a layer of the raspberry across the bottom. Now going the opposite way, I'm going to use the stencil to bring the raspberry up into the white. I'm going to use the raspberry to paint the underside of the mouth as well. I'm going to use this stencil yet again to darken the top of this lure with the opaque blue. While I have blue in the brush, I'll darken the eye sockets as well. I've had this large octagonal glitter on hand for a while and I thought I'd use it on this lure. I'm going to put a couple across the top just so they can maybe catch some light and reflect it back. I'm sticking them to the lure with this E6000 adhesive. It's time to super glue the eyes in. I didn't have the correct size on hand, so I used a millimeter down.
It's time to mix the two-part epoxy. It's important to have good ventilation when you're mixing and applying the epoxy. The lure will spin for three hours and then dry for 24. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.